Hey guys, it's Daniel. Hey, I've got a pretty cool little DIY build I want to show you. Something that you may have never thought of using in your garden. And that's this right here. You see that? What in the world would you use this for in a garden? That's a paint roller. Dang sure not going to be painting the sides of my high tunnel with it. But I'll show you. I'll show you today how I turned this into one of my favorite gardening tools. It's a very simple, very cheap, quick, easy build, and it'll turn into something you really like too. I promise you. Okay, this is a uh, basically a four-inch paint roller. You can use about a four-inch, six-inch. I wouldn't use the full size because they're just too big. It won't work out right. First thing you do, take that foam roller off. See that? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind this down. It's round right now. I'm going to grind it down flat, put a little bit of a cutting edge on it. Now I'll show you how I do that. Super simple. And then all I'm going to do is just screw a broom handle onto that right there. Put a, a hose clamp on this because it'll, this will be a pressure point and you'll break that plastic using this thing as a hoe. But uh, super simple. Put a hose clamp right there, tighten it down real tight, and that causes that to lock up and you won't won't break that plastic and won't come unscrewed as easy. Once you file this down, you don't have to put a real sharp cutting edge under on it. It just you just kind of want it flattened out. So it you're gonna take it and you're gonna go right under the top of the soil up close to your small plants. It gets really, really good for getting those small weeds. Um, not real great for hard compacted ground because this thing's just not that strong. It's a small piece of metal. It's not built for digging, but going just right under the soil and getting those small weeds up close to your new plants works perfect. Um, I didn't come up with this idea. My neighbor kind of suggested it. He's got what Johnny sells. Johnny Seed sells a collinear hoe, I believe is how you say it. And it's basically just a flat piece of metal on the bottom of your hoe that sits flat on the ground, maybe a half inch wide. And it just, you just take it and you just rake right under the edge of the soil with that thing. But the problem is, is it's about 40 bucks plus shipping. This, I can get one of these for four or five dollars, a broom handle for a couple bucks, take a grinder or a file even, flatten this out, and you're in business in no time. So I'll show you how I build it, then I'm going to show you how it works. Stick with me. Over here, all I'm going to do is put it on my little table here and clamp it down. If you had a vise, it'd probably work better. I just need to clamp it to this surface so I can flatten that edge out. Super easy. Not a lot to it. Just be careful you don't shave off too much material or you'll end up with a piece of metal that's too thin and it'll break on you. You're just gonna flatten out both sides and make that just, just a thin piece of flat metal is all you're trying to do. Okay, so here's what you're shooting for guys. See how that's flattened out? Now it's not perfect. I will say I might have gone a little thin right here and it's a little thicker over here, but it's still plenty strong. It'll work just fine. Still a little hot, golly. So that's what you're going for. You're going from this rounded piece like this to a flat piece like this so it'll slide under those roots of those plants and you can just pop them right out of the ground, okay? So here's a little warning. If you're not an experienced DIYer, you may want to find somebody else to do this next step for you. Building this thing is complicated, okay? So here's what you're going to do. Find somebody who can build something, because this is hard stuff. All right, you're going to take a hose clamp, just a simple old hose clamp. You're going to put it over the handle of your paint roller, just like that. Here's the hard part. Put your broom handle into the paint roller. Tighten it down. Take that hose clamp and put it right over where your threads are at because that plastic will break if you put too much pressure on it. Another tough part right here. Tighten the hose clamp. There you go. Done. Difficult right there. Anybody can build one of these things. Okay guys, you ready for this? You want to work this thing as vertically as possible. Stay right over the top of it just like you're sweeping with a broom, okay? This thing is perfect for, if you've got drip line irrigation, 
watch this, you can go right under that drip line and you can just rake those weeds out just like that. If you need to dig just a little bit of light digging, you can use the point. But otherwise, you're just going to hold it up and drag it right under those roots. See that grass just comes right out of there. You can go in and just pop that grass right out. Super, super simple, guys. Super easy. Here's another row. Lots of grass coming up in between all my tomato plants in here. See, there's tomato plant, and there's tomato plant, and all this grass just takes over in between those plants. You just come in here, you just almost kind of rake it out. Go right under that drip line irrigation. Like I said, you don't want to dig with it necessarily. You're just going and disturbing the roots. That's all you're trying to do. This isn't a chopping hoe. You're not going to get out here and really do some heavy digging with this thing because you'll break it pretty easy. This handle right here will break. And you can also break this off. But uh, the light duty stuff, after you plant your crops out, going around young plants, that's what this thing's designed for. Okay, guys, here's a perfect example. All this little grass popping up around my tomato plants in my high tunnel. You just get in here and get right under that grass. You can just pop it out. You can get right up close to the plant. You can get right up next to your plants and not disturb them. You're just barely going under the soil. See there? You can go right under that drip line irrigation. On the other side. There you go. Super simple. All right, so one thing you always want to remember with this is you're going to work it just like a broom, just like you're sweeping your floors. Two hands, stay over the top of this thing. You're less likely to break it up here. You're working small motions, just right, small little weeds, okay? You're not going to get way out there and really hoe with this thing like you would a big hoe. You're not going to turn it over and drag it. It's not made for that. Straight up and down almost, just like you're sweeping your floors. That's all you're going to do, just small little motions, sweeping the floors. You're just sweeping the roots right out from under that grass or weeds or whatever you're whatever you got going on super simple super easy to make guys i hope you build you one of these you'll really enjoy it trust me it's a really good tool uh, if you want to look into it a little bit johnny seed sells that collinear hoe for about 40 dollars plus shipping but it's a great product but this was just a super simple super cheap easy way to build something to do the same job okay as i was saying the four or six inch model rollers probably work the best. If you get that full 12 inch, it just, you're putting too thin of a piece of metal out too far. And this is a precision tool up close to your crops. You don't want to be that long piece sticking out there. It's not what it's for. So let me know what you think, guys. I hope you enjoy this thing. I think you'll really like it if you build one. Super simple, guys. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.